Yo, what up, you two? It's your boy, Mr. Get in there checking in, man, on quick little update, man. I got a hot one for y'all today. Today, we're going to discuss uh, C5, C7 caliber 2014 to 2018, I think. Uh, 2000, no, 2016. Whenever they started, made the C7 vets to current C7. Yeah, it can't get on no Google. Anywho, we got a bracket. I'm going to show y'all how to do with my C7 calories on the Blazer Spender. I get a lot of questions, a lot of asking about it. The Blazer Spender, man. The Blazer Spender. The Blazer Spender. Everybody love the Blazer Spender. Nobody wants to run the stock G-Body uh, Spender. I guess because of the, the uh, Baron Hub, the Big Hickey. Uh, some people don't like that. Uh, some wheels, depending on what wheels you got, like three-piece wheels, you got to get like a big center cap just to hide that hickey. So, uh, anywho, this what we got, YouTube. Going short on the time, man. Uh, this is the bracket right here. Mount it up. I forgot the size. No drilling, no tapping required, but you will need to do a little grinding. Right? Oh, shucks. Right here where you see my mark at, right here. And that is only for, I think it's the boat. So, it is only for, you can squeeze the boat by. That is the only reason why you're doing that. Uh, well, you need to go the size of the head. Well, that, that should clear the head. Uh, that should clear it uh, just a little bit. That should clear it. Uh, that's the only thing you got to do. And you got to massage this right here a little bit. Uh, let me put the spin I mean the caliper on. Okay, you two, we faded back. What you can see, see this, uh, the hole lined it up right there. What you can see, you can't get that bolt in there without knocking off a little back on that material and you can see where the uh, bracket is coming up on the caliber focus focus and you don't have to grind it down that much I just put a mark you just need to you just need to grind it down just a little bit just massage it just a little bit hold on you two Thank you, two. Uh, you just need to massage it just a little bit in this little area. Uh, if the caliber wasn't painted, I could do the caliber in, but it really don't matter. So I'm gonna just massage this just a little bit. I really don't have to do the whole thing. I could really just put a bevel. Put a bevel on this end. So that's probably what I do, try that first. Uh, that's a YouTube with fade back over and up. You too, we faded back, man. Uh, starting to rain on me, man. Uh, I'm ready to go shut down, go get cleaned up. I'm supposed to hit the track tonight. Uh, anywho, uh, that's all you want to do. You want to grind that down just so that boat can clear. Right there, you two. That's it. That's the only grinder you got to do, man. That's it. Took me two minutes, man. Didn't even wet a blade out good on the grinder. Uh, hold on, you two. All right, you two starting to rain, man. Might have to finish this up tomorrow. I don't know. Uh, I wanted to show it with the rotors on, but really no need. Rotors gonna slip right on. 14 inch Z06 rotors. That's where you make your cut at, you two. Right here on the spindle. And you. You're gonna kinda wanna bevel this on the bracket and that's it, man. Uh, that's it, man. Uh, that's really, that's all I can tell you. Really not much, really kind of quick info on the 14-inch rotor. On a blazer spindle, you need a blazer spindle, blazer hubs, adapt the bracket. You need to adapt the bracket, message me. I got them 125, man. I got brackets, kits for pretty much Everything. Only thing I'm kind of lacking is like 69 in Palace. Like, no, like 64 in Palace. You send me the spindle, I can make it work though. Uh, that's the only thing I'm really lacking. Never really had got a chance to get a, get, uh, 
get hands on uh, for to do a mock-up and be able to get that bracket available, but get that kit available, but that's what we got, YouTube. Uh, so all you're gonna need to do minor cut on the spindle, man, for 14, uh, for uh, C7, C6 caliber, grinder, Harbor Freight grinder, that's the more expensive one. Work pretty good. We're gonna see how long it lasts. Other grinders, I was having problems with these shorting out right there. But uh, that's it, you two. Starting to rain. I need to go cover up something. And uh, that's it. Try to keep it short and sweet. I think that's it. Uh, I don't think I really need to show the rotors on here, man. Uh, then I gotta go get, this, get the hub, both the hubs in, find the boats for the hubs. So I think that's it. That's gonna conclude this video. How to put C7 calibers on a blazer spin on the G by the blazer spin over and out. <clears throat> Yo, what up, you two boy? Must get in there checking in, man. Got a quick little update. I don't know about quick, but I got a nice little update for y'all, man. The streets been asking for it, man. Your boy get in there coming on with it. C7 calibers on the blazer spin. I got this bracket on the stock G by the hub. Some people like to run the stock G by the hub. It's a little old technology. Sometimes it get in the way of your new wheels. It depends on your offset of your wheels. Uh, that's why some people had a big center cap, tall center cap on their Forgiatos, uh, Armani's, et cetera, et cetera, three-piece wheels. So, that being said, this is on the Blazer Spinner. I have this bracket also in the Stock G by the spindle. I think I think we got it where I think I got it worked out for the uh, 96 Impala. I got a guy doing a mock-up on his 96 Impala now, so I'm waiting to get the word back and make sure everything falls into place. But everything should be good. The only thing about a 96 Impala, you gotta run a uh, billet hub. The dunks, you gotta run billet hub. You gotta run billet hub. Pretty much, you gotta run billet hub on anything that's not 5x120. Because the 5x120 is small and it can fit inside the rotor. So, that's what we got, YouTube. Uh, took a lot of mock ups to get this going. Finally found the recipe for it. Uh, this right here is. Uh, 2014 Z06 rotor, I think. Oh, it's 13, I'm sorry, it's 13 and 3 eighths. This rotor fits pretty good, but technically, it's a shad too short. How you can know if your rotor shad too short, see your rotor, see your pad supposed to totally cover that up. Focus, focus, focus. Yep, focus, focus. Focus, focus, focus. Come on now, come on. There we go. Uh, the pad supposed to fully cover up the rotor. I mean, will that work? Yeah, it'll work, it's just your pad won't be, when it's time to change pad year, two, three years down the line, you're gonna be left with the whole pad wore down and just this half an inch, three eighths of an inch, not wore down. Uh, you need uh, you need the two. I'm sorry, you two. I don't know where the yarn it come from. You need the 2005. I mean, I'm sorry, 2000, whatever. You need the C6 uh, rotor. You need. I think it's a 13 and 58. I think it's like a 340, 45 in millimeters or something like that. Rock Auto, the best place. The reason why I find Rock Auto the best place when you go through the steps, click on Camaro. I mean Corvette. 2016, 2017, click on rotors and it bring up a whole bunch of list of rotors and you have, it might come up about 10 different rotors but eight of them gonna have the different sizes of the rotor. That's how I go by which one is the correct, correct rotor. Cause you go on eBay, then when you ask the dummies what size this rotor is, um, what's your, what's your, uh, what's your VIN number we'll run to match to make sure it fits for you. That ain't what I've got going on. I, I need to know the size. Majority of the time, they don't know the size. You, 
you say Carvet Rotor on eBay. Carvet Rotor 2017. You get the base model crap pop up, whole bunch of different, different oh, miscellaneous crap, man. I think the base model on the C7, I think it was like a 12.6 rotor, I think. So you need the next one, it's like a 13. It's like a 13 and a half or something like that, 13.6. So that calculate out to like, I think, 345, 350 millimeters. That's what you need, man. Uh, I tried this with the 14 inch Z06 rotor. Uh, the problem I was having with the Z06, I'll probably run it. I don't know. I'm just putting this video out here. I'm sorry, y'all. Man, I don't know where this coming from. I did wake up early. I went to bed early, too. I ate me some raisin canes last night and I was out for the count. But anywho though, I'm sorry getting off the subject. Uh, this rotor is an inch and a quarter. I'm gonna have to double check the specs and get back with y'all. I'll throw the, I'll throw the information in the, when I'm editing this video. This video thickness, I mean, this rotor is a thickness of an inch and a quarter. So that comes out to like, 33 33 millimeters or something like that there the c7 road is 30 millimeters uh let me see if i can show y'all okay right here right here the rotor it's clear it's hard to see but it's clear it's clear on this little hickey on the 14 inch it was rubbing because the little paint that's on the inside that rubbed it was knocking off the little paint. Uh, the 14 inch Z06, C6 Z06, 14 inch rotor would not work. Uh, I'm gonna make it work, cause I'm not buying another rotor, but to everybody else, like I tell everybody, the rotor got the master caliper. It's plain and simple. Yeah, sometimes you can get away, just like we take the C5 caliber and make the 14 inch rotor work with the hybrid bracket. That's that's a different ball game with that. With these new calibers, Brim, with the all the Brembo's with the Camaro, Corvette, anything. Caliber, I mean the caliber have to match the rotor, rotor have to match the caliber. That's the slight dilemma I have with this one. But it's working though. Uh this is a used rod. I bought this off eBay years ago, man bought this off of ebay so i'm imagining it's wore down a little bit so that's why it's clearing um this right here so on the 14 inch road it's brand new and it's rubbing so i have two options i would do on the 14 inch road and then as well the 14 inch road is jammed up up in here i'm gonna take my drummer I'm gonna massage this right here. I was gonna massage this right here, but it's still gonna make the the pad tight. I could shade the pads down, just I mean like three, four, and five millimeters, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that. On, I'm not. I'm definitely not gonna do that on these pads because these um Black Hawk pads, ceramic. Pairs, these pairs was 250 bucks. So I'm not shaving down my 250 bucks pads. Uh, I can always sell a rotor cause they brand new having you. Hey you two right here where you see these circles, the yellow circle and arrow, that's what I was referring to. Where you can grind down a little bit for get the 14 inch rotor to work. I mean that's if you have the 14 if you don't have rotors, I suggest just go ahead and buy the C7 rotors at the right thickness, the right height, and you won't have to do no uh, massaging on, on your calibers, uh, pads, anything. Mounted up, so I might hold on to them. I bought them off Rock Auto for cheap, man. Cheap, cheap, so I probably just hold on to them. I just might purchase some more rotors. Uh, the 13.5, I think. 13.5, cause the new C7s didn't come with 14 inch rotors. But let me tell you, they came with a smaller, a half inch rotor, 
but these calibers had uh, a 25% more sweep. I guess how the, the calibers design, it had a 25 or 25% more sweep versus the uh, C6 calibers. So you get it had a 35% more bite. And I think it had like a 10% more improvement on the stopping. So, I mean, I know it's not much, I mean, but it is what it is. So, they made the rotor smaller, but they made the bite on the rotor more. So, however, how you did that, I don't know. But, anywho, I'm just trying to explain it. Uh, so, this is what we got. The bracket that I have will work. In the beginning of this video, I was showing modifying the spindle. I had the back the bracket backwards. Don't pay no attention to that. The bracket was backwards, but you still need to massage that just a little bit. You really don't have to go that much. I went a little too far. Got carried away with the grinder, got trigger happy. Just gotta massage that just a little bit so the bolt can clear. But the bracket was backwards, but the method of uh grinding, I don't know what I was thinking about that day. The method of Many how many brake swaps I did. I don't know how he had the bracket backwards, but uh, the bracket was backwards, so you don't need to massage the back side of this caliber. I mean, this back side of this bracket for it to mount up to this caliber because I had dummy get in there, had it backwards. So there's that on the bracket. Uh, you got to get the caliber, the rotor, you have to get the rotor to matches C Z06 uh, uh, C6 Z06 14 inch rotors will not work they too thick they're like a quarter inch thicker and what else what else uh, they're like a quarter inch thicker and they too big they jamming up up in here now if you got 14 inch rollers, you do this at your own, own risk. What you can do is, uh, I don't think they turn these rollers. That's what I heard. I'm not even 100% sure. But if you can get the roller turned, just a smudge it, and you massage this right up in here with a roller hitting that 14 inch wood clear. But, uh, Yeah, 14 is wood clear. Pads, everything should be okay with the pads. Uh, it's just on the 14. So these these used rotors I bought. Hey YouTube, right here where the arrow pointing at. Um, it's a little hump right there. It's four points, right? It's, it's almost like they're supposed to hold the caliber. It's like a slot for the hold the uh, the pad. I'm sorry for the hold the pad. If you shave them four points down that'll give you a little room for the squeeze to 14 inch rotor but you still have to massage the top and bottom of the caliber. Bought off eBay years ago but there was I think the, the vet had maybe like 20 30 thousand miles so I'm pretty sure these rotors wore down two three millimeters four five about five or six millimeters if I had to calibrate I could I can actually measure them uh, with a calibrator and I can get a more accurate reading than this tape measure because uh, This tape measure uh, There's one in the fourth But uh, So That's how you mount C7 calibers been yapping too long. It's probably gonna turn into a 30 minute video, but Hey, I'm trying to keep them short and sweet for y'all man. I'll be trying to get the information to y'all, which y'all need to know. So, I mean, as long as long, I apologize. It is what it is. Uh, C7 caliber on a blazer spindle. I have the bracket in stock. Caliber have to match the rotor. The rotor have to match the caliber. Plain and simple. Uh, I'll try to look on Rock Auto, find the part numbers, and uh, I'll post the part numbers. Uh, I'm editing this and I'll probably maybe I'll post the link to Rock Auto in the description as well. Help y'all out, man. But that's what we got. C7 calibers on a blazer spindle. Uh
13 and a half roll is what you need for to make this whole combination work. 14 will work. I think you get the 14 to work, like I say. If you can take it somewhere to get the, the rotor turned a little bit, and then the rotor gonna be jammed up the top up here if you massage the top up here a little bit and the in the bottom. And it should be good to go, but just buy the right rotor for what you need. The rotor have to match the caliber, the caliber have to match the rotor. They go in two. Uh, that's it, that's the bubble to get in there over and out.